Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. So this one's a different video today because this is how to fix or rather change the style of YouTube. Um, YouTube are pushing out having the comments to the side of the actual video, which is apparently so you can scroll through and you know read the comments while viewing the video, which doesn't really make sense because if you're looking at the comments and you're not looking at the video, so it's just silly. And for me and being a glasses wearer, it also means that um, the writing is very, very, very small and it's just annoying and a pain in the butt. And a lot of people feel the same where they want the comments underneath it and they're not given the option. Now, there is a feedback option underneath um, YouTube, which I did click and submitted um, my disgust as it was with um, the new layout and not being able to read it and the frustration. And um, my account, because it is per account based on the rollout, is reset to the old style. But I don't know how long it's going to stay like that. But I did find a way whilst waiting for them to do something about it, uh, which honestly I didn't realize they did until going to make this video and noticing that um, after removing all the, um, the changes that I had uh, implemented that it's loading up as it used to. So um, for this video and this tutorial, mine will be the normal layout, which unfortunate for you, not unfortunate for me, but um, this will still work for you guys. I'm going to go through and show you how to set it up so you can get your comment back underneath the um, video. So we won't go to the intro since uh, this one's not about uh, art and stuff like that. And, you know, it seems a bit silly having the um, welcome screen and uh, having all the art rolling by. So we'll just go over to um, the browser and we'll uh, take a look at what to do. Okay, now I'm using Firefox. Um, now I submitted a, under here, a report to uh, YouTube themselves and I complained about their um, comments being removed from here uh, and being put over here. Um, and the reason I did that is because, uh, as I said with the old eyes, it's it was very small, it's very hard to read. And um, yeah, as I said, I don't know, uh, they obviously read it and they've reset mine uh, under my account. So I recommend doing that and just say, look, I can't read this. Uh, I've got horrible eyes. Um, can you please move it back uh, to the original where the comments are underneath the video? Um, because that's what they seem to have done with me, which I didn't know until going to do this video. But uh, yeah, what you would have... I can just give me a moment and I'll open up an image. Okay, so what um, you'll have is this. You'll have your comments on the side if they've updated yours and you'll have videos at the bottom. Uh, this is incredibly annoying. Um, one, this is a lot smaller on um, larger screens that aren't uh, 1080p. So if you're viewing it on TV or something like that, uh, that's 4K. It's very tiny writing. And if you click on the theater mode, comments disappears. And when you scroll down, all you get is lots and lots and lots of video ads, which is extraordinarily annoying. And what we're going to do is change it back to the original. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to basically install a little utility, Firefox and Chrome, it supports which allows you to um, apply a script to change the YouTube layout back to the way it was. So we're going to come over to here and I'll leave all the links in the comments below. And this is how we're going to actually change it back. So we're going to install a couple of little things. Um, we're also going to install Stylus and I'll leave the link below. So you want to come down under Stylus until we hit the releases, Chrome and Firefox. So I'm gonna click Firefox. I'm gonna add that, I'm gonna add that. I don't want it to run in private mode, but that's up to you. If you use private mode to view videos, you can do that. So that's Stylus installed. 
I'm going to come over here and we're going to install Violent Monkey. It's the one I'm going to use. You can choose which one you're using. I'm doing Firefox. I'm adding that. Okay. Now, once that is done, we'll come back to here and we'll install Revert Changes. We'll install that. So that is now installed. We can double check that it is installed by clicking it again and you'll see reinstall close. And we're going to click this. When we click this script, uh, the installed stylus will come up with this. If you do not have stylus installed, the script will open up just as a, um, a document. Uh, you won't have the ability to actually install or do anything with it. So you need stylus to actually be installed. And you click on install the style and now it says the style is installed and that is it and if we come across to our add-ons we'll see stylus down here and we'll see our little monkey there and then when we come back across this both of these are actually running we can see it is applied and when we click it <clears throat> you'll end up with everything back to normal okay and you can see that is running and that is running now once it's back to normal if you want to do um another little change to it uh, say this is extraordinarily annoying you can come over to here and look for unhook uh, i believe it's available for chrome and for uh, firefox you can add unhook we'll add that we'll say okay I'm okay not reading that. We'll come back over to our video. We'll come down, click on unhook. Dark mode, thank you very much. I'll turn it on. I'm gonna just turn all this off. All of it off. Cause I'm okay with everything that I normally use. The only thing I don't want is I don't want these recommendations. So I can click that. And now I don't have the recommendations there. I can full screen it. I can scroll down and read my comments nicely without having all the videos there. So there it is. If you're having a problem with YouTube and you've been pushed to um, the comments on the side and perhaps you've done report and you're not getting any feedback from them, uh, that is how to get your um, YouTube looking the way it was. So simple little steps, um, not overly complicated, just have to install a couple of little things and follow a couple of little steps. And once that's done, you'll have your YouTube looking the way it was. And um, obviously if you're used to it that way or for whatever reason you want it back that way, you actually have the ability to do it thanks to the people that have actually gone out of the way to uh, create those. So hopefully this uh, video helped you out. And of course, if it did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and get the bell on for notifications. And I don't seem to be getting my little like and subscribe to pop up at the moment. There we go. Like, subscribe, get the bell on for notifications. Share this video if you found it useful to uh, your social media feeds or... Um, what have you to help out other people that may be in the same boat and of course i will see you in the next stream tabulous video thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end if you like my videos it really helped me out if you could like and subscribe it helps the youtube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers which in turn helps me and helps everyone so thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.